Hello everybody, this is a gorgeous 23 minute workout. You, we've done this structure before. You've got four groups of two exercises. In each group, you've got one strength, which you're going to do for 30 seconds, and one cardio for 20 seconds. And we're going to do each pair four times, back to back, no rest. There you are, I said it really quickly. Back to back, no rest. <laughs> then we get some rest, then we get next group, next group, next group. 23 minutes, done, go home, done. Five. Warm up, really warm up. So we're going to start with, we'll show you the first two. Press ups and ladder climbs. So, press ups like this, or like this, but super controlled. Or one of these. And then, ladder climb. Which is this. Two versions. Or a low impact. Okay. 30 seconds of strength, 20 seconds of cardio. Yeah. And then he, we go he wanted to put 30 seconds of cardio, and I said, not having it. <laughs> so, press up position. And do make sure you're warm. If you need water, you will get a little bit of rest in between the, uh, the groups. But this is the first group of two. Oh, my watch is playing up and we're ready to go now. So 40, 30 seconds, let's go. So nice and controlled with the strength. Really, really focus on your technique. Two knees off, you can put one knee down or you can put two knee down. The top half of your body does not change. So from the hips upwards, whether you're, no matter where your knees or your feet are, the press up remains the same, the technique remains the same. And we've got 10 more seconds, and you're gonna be straight up onto your feet, which will almost be like a bird because you're gonna pull those knees in and drive up straight into a ladder climb. Let's go now, up, ladder climb, go. So two versions, this is the full version. I can show you the low impact one, which is here. So you walk in, driving the knee up, pulling your arms down. If you have to do this one, that's fine. You can do the low impact version, just 20 seconds, and then we'll straighten that down into press ups, we've got another five to go. Try and keep your pace, so the version you're doing, try and keep that pace up, and press up, straight down. So you come as a restart, you go straight down, and press slow it down. So you'll be really puffing now, slow you'll hate it. You'll and be you'll, fine. You'll probably start the press ups a little bit too quick, so because your heart rate's up, body's flying, but slow it down. Slow it right down for 30 seconds. Elbows. That's one double four. Elbows diagonally behind you. Try and keep your head up. As you start to get tired, you're going to find your head starts to hit the floor first. It's your chest you want to lower to the floor. And up, let it climb. Go. Come on, punch the ceiling, drive the knee. They have to work together, those arms and legs. They do. You don't want to stand there just waving your arms around. Okay, you also don't want to just be doing high knees. You want them to work together. Arms up, knees drive. Ah! Oh. Five seconds, come on, pace, let's start nice and slow. Come on! Press up, back down. Press ups, back down. So if you're super strong in your press ups, if you've do, been doing full ones, if you wanted to add a little Spider-Man press up in, it can make it a little bit tougher, where you just bring one knee round. So you might be able to do, you know, a minute of press ups. And you're like, you know what, I'm just gonna make my 30 seconds a little bit tougher. You can bring one knee round. Just don't let your knee or the foot touch the floor. Doesn't no matter what version you're doing, uh, normal ones are fine. Normal ones are perfectly fine. You have only got a few more seconds. We've done two of those. Up, oh, go, ladder climb, speed. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Now your pace comes in, now your speed work comes in. Good, 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 good. Get your arms up. Elbows. Come on! You've got to pull down with those elbows. Pull those elbows into your Does ribcage. You want, but don't stop moving. Got to bring those elbows into your ribcage. Don't. Just wave your arms here, okay? You want that range in the shoulder, driving those arms up. Ah. Press ups, back down, last one. Last one. Push through the balls of your hands. Hands ah. up here, bring it down, and press through the line of your chest, all through the line of your chest. Get rid of the floor. Be aggressive with the floor. Head up, chest down, pause. Breathe out when you push up. Oh, I haven't got any room for funny jokes. Okay, you've got five more seconds and we've got ladder climbs to finish. Up and go. 20 seconds, ladder climbs to finish. And we can get about 30 seconds after this. Oh. So you do get some rest after this first little super set. Punch, 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 punch. Get them arms up. Come on, you. Arms up, arms up, arms up, arms Sorry. up. There we go. Now yeah. we're, now we're driving. Oh. It's tough. The shoulders are getting tired. Keep pressing. Breathe, nice, nice, nice. Well, what do we think of that one? Breathe, Not much. Breathe it out, breathe it out. Breathe it out. <sighs> Don't grab a drink if you need it. And just while you're resting, we'll show you the next two exercises that are going to be done exactly the same format. So it's a half sumo squat, 
feet outside shoulder width, toes turn out. Half rep, so you're staying low. So you're not releasing the tension. Okay? So rather than stand up and have a rest, if you find that difficult, stand up and do four squats. Then we're going to go into a side shuffle. So two little shuffles across. If you haven't got that much room, you can stay close. And you're just do a single. If you've got the room, do the double. Okay, half two most first though. 30, 20, let's go again, now. So you should be ready into those half squats. Heart rate, even though you've had you know, 40 odd seconds, 40, 50 seconds rest there, it will still be up a touch. But that's fine, that's what we want. Two more squats, keep those knees out. So if you look at Annie's toes, her knees are tracking her toes. Try not to let them collapse in too much. Don't let anybody come near you. Less than 10 seconds, and then we go straight into the side cycle. Same so I'm format as before. Stay low. Let's go now. So you're trying to keep those hips down, whether you're doing loads of room or <sighs> short ones like me here. This is fine. You can stay here if you need to. Still try and touch the floor. If you can touch the floor, get all the way down. If you can't, just make a move towards it. It's only 20 seconds. We've got five, and we're straight back into those half sumos. You're going to start to feel these. Let's go now, half sumos. So back. Down. Stay Please. low. Stay low. If it gets oh. too much that you can't do a half rep, then stand up, do a couple of full ones. Don't just break out of it and go and have a no. little walk. Okay. Our bodies are temples. Come on. Try and stay low. And all that rubbish. Knees up. Knees up. Glutes job. We say it a lot. It's to pull that thing. Come on. Pull it out. Come on, Aaron. Let's get out. No, 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 no. You got five, six. I've got to stand up and turn back down again. And side shuffle. Same again. If you can touch the floor, touch the floor. If you can't, just make that move towards it. What we're trying to do is trying to keep your hips low. That's all. We're, not, we're trying not to let you stand up. You want to keep the tension on the quads, toes pointing forwards, shuffling across the side shuffle. You're not turning and running. Half two minutes. Go again. Stay down. Half. Ah. Oh. Slow That's down. Hell. Isn't it hell? Sorry, I've got to stand up. Right. The bottom's on fire. Feet should be nice and wide, toes turn out. It's just there. I wrote this, so apologies. Get the knees up. Get the knees up. 15 oh. seconds, set number three. If you have to stand up, just to release the touch, go back down again. Don't use it as a reason to pause or to rest. Oh, sorry. Five seconds till side shuffles. And go again now. Number three, this. And tap, shuffle across, and tap, and go again, and tap. This is number three or four. Fly Come on. this one, this is good. Try and be quick off the outside legs. When you land, you really drive off the outside leg. Try and be sharp, try and be quick. A few more seconds. Sumos. Is this Pass. the last set? Yeah. Tell me it is. This is number four. Come on. Don't break out of this time. No, I promise. I was a very bad girl last time. <laughs> oh, Aaron, that's horrible. We're not bouncing. Control, two separate movements. One, two. Head up, chest up, come on. Oh, get that head up. He's such a bully up. mood today. <laughs> Don't uh, collapse to the waist. How long? How long? You've got another 10 seconds. Uh, Don't you dare stand up. Don't you dare stand up. Uh, Don't you dare stand up. Uh, I'll hold you down. Come on. Don't break up. Don't break up. Don't break out. A few more, a few more, a few more. Side shuffles, go. Come on, legs. Come on, legs. Come on, come legs. On, legs. Come on, legs. <laughs> They're not working. Now you're going. Now you're going. Now you're going. Here's it, go. Next one's on the floor, so don't worry. Yeah. Phew. Tell, go again. Come on, try and get that pace. Tell me it's only 20 seconds. We want them next to work. I know they're struggling. Yeah, they're a little bit tired. We know they're a little bit tired. A little bit tired. And rest. Shake them off. Shake them off. Right, Stand up tall. Just go into a corner, sulk. Stand up tall. Stand up tall. Give yourselves the talking to and then come back out. Grab a drink again. We'll show you the next two. It's a straight leg bicycle crunch and a floor jack. So you are on the floor. For both of these, just facing two different ways. So a straight leg bicycle crunch. Then hurting legs. You've probably done bicycle crunches with us before. A straight leg bicycle crunch is where the legs don't cross. So it comes in, they meet, and then one releases, and then they meet again. That was lovely, except... Do them your feet off the floor. If you can. So, now my legs are starting to moan again, because my legs are up. And then a floor jack is a press-up position. Glutes nice and tight, opening and closing legs. If you struggle with that, you're going to tap like that. Straight leg bicep crunch first though. On your back, drink down, towel down, 
Let's go. Come on, you gorgeous people. 30 20, exactly the same format. Every little group of two is exactly the same format. So they're not crossing the legs over. You're not trying to go quick. They meet, stay low, one of them runs away. So stay pause. in this motion, stay with this exercise. Don't worry about what's coming pause. up. Twist at the top half. Try and keep your feet below the line of your knees so you're pushing down towards the skirting board on the other side of the room. Think about driving that leg down and roll over, floor jacks, so straight over and go. Now if you're feeling great, you can add a little shoulder tap every time the legs go wide. Just open and closing those feet, nice and quick. Open and closing those feet. You don't keep, have to do that. Keep your legs nice and straight. Bicycle, back over. So roll over, drop your hips. Just flip the body round and go again. So it's just rolling over, backwards and forwards. Make sure those feet meet at the bottom and then they're released. You're not crossing in the air. If you have to put your feet down, you can put your feet down. My abs are very tired. Just don't put bottom. my feet down. Breathe in at the bottom, breathe out on your rotate. Twist that chest, shoulder blades off the floor. Don't worry so much about the elbow going to the knee, get the other one away. Yeah. Really rotate that upper body. And roll over. So if you've done the last one, flip it over, floor jacks, go. Keep your legs straight. I want you to keep those legs straight. Don't bend the knees, don't stick them up in the air. Okay, if you've got weak shoulders, or you're getting really tired, you can walk them out. One leg and the other leg, so you can slow the tempo. Nice and wide with the legs as quick as you can. Quick as you can. Bicycle punch. Back over. Flip your glutes under and go again. And go again. Come on, come on, come on. That's it, good. Sorry, I was having a rest. <laughs> a sneaky rest. Did you notice that? I'm doing it on your behalf. We rest at the end. We rest at the end. We rest at the end. Pause. Slow the tempo. Try not to go quick. That's one of the reasons why we're doing the straight leg bicycle crunch. We don't want you to be going super fast. We want you to control the tempo. Think about the muscles you're working. If you have to put your feet down, that's fine. Three, two, floor jack. Set number three. Let's do it. Three. Let's have in, let's in, let's in. Go, 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 go. Goodness me, doing that shoulder tap really brings it to the core. Keep those legs on tap. Keep those legs straight, keep those glutes tight, keep those sticky bum up in the air. Bustle, flip, roll, go. Set number four, set number four. Try and start with your feet off the floor if you can. Oh, it's so mean. <laughs> oh my. Breathe. Just. Breathe in at the bottom. Breathe out when you rotate. Breathing out forces you to contract your abs. You can suck your belly button in as you breathe out, collapsing your ribs down into your pocket and twisting from your chest. A few more seconds. Roll over, floor jacks to finish. Floor jacks to finish off, let's do it. Come on! Exact legs in, exact legs in, exact legs in. You can do the shoulder tap if you're strong in your upper body. Or if you have to regress right down, remember you're walking one leg out. It's just one leg at a time. That's fine as well. Only regress down if you have to, not because you want to, because you're a little bit tired. None of that business. We want to work as hard as we can. Rest. Breathe, breathe, well, breathe. One more superset. What do we have to say about that then? One more superset. Squat, reverse lunge, and then into a balanced squat jump. So again, while you're resting, just have a little look. So squat. And then a reverse lunge. So while Annie's still dying, she'll demonstrate. <laughs> Squat. And reverse lunge. Okay? And then you're going to a squat, opposite leg. So always squat in the middle, don't neglect the squat. And into that reverse lunge. That's going to be 30 seconds. Ballet squat jump. You need to be able to jump high enough to cross your feet over in the air, okay? So crossing your feet over in the air, make sure you're jumping high enough. If you can't jump high enough to cross your feet, just do squat jumps. Or again, if you're on a super low impact version, we can do a squat and a kick. Okay? Now, but we need to be a little explosive. there'll be lots of shouting and groaning and grunting in this, because they're painful. So let's all groan and grunt together, okay? Squat, reverse lunge. 30 seconds, 20 jumps, let's go. 
This is the last one. So four exercises, back to back, no rest, same format, and then we're done. It's been super sharp. Yeah, you're not wrong there. You've got a lot of muscles, your heart rate has definitely got up. Control, all the way back. Try and get as much range as you can in that reverse lunge. Last couple of seconds or 10 more. If you absolutely struggle with the reverse lunge, you can do a squat with a rear leg raise. Yeah. If you have to, if you can't lunge or you can't get very low in your lunge. So straight into jumps now. Ballet squat jump. Cross those feet if you catch. So the reason we get you across the feet is we want you to be explosive in the air. You still have to land with your feet in the right position for your squat. So you've got to get up high enough to crisscross those feet. Five more seconds, be explosive, come on, land square, land square, squat reverse lunge. Straight in, Alan. We might have to throttle him after this. Squat, squat, squat sorry. reverse lunge. Squat, rear leg raise if you have to, if you can't get very low in your lunges, if you can't balance, if you can't get high enough to switch your feet over, just do a squat jump, or you can do a squat and kick if you need to be doing the low impact version. Just fine, we want everyone to be able to do all the workouts together, so that's why there's different levels. Nice and deep in your squats. We've got another couple of seconds. Three, and jump. There we go, cross them feet. Cross Come on! Cross them feet, cross them feet. Come on, we want to see them crossing. If you can't cross them, just squat jump. You might want to do squat jumps for a couple of seconds. And then you can get back into your explosive, crisscrossing those feet over. Land light, land light and drive. Land light and drive, land light. And squat, reverse lunge. Squat, reverse lunge. That's two. Legs are going to be. Have you lost your sense of humour out there? Me too. Legs are going to be tired now. Ah! Quads, glutes, heart rate's going to be up. Nice and low the squats. All the way back with those lunges. Nice, deep, controlled lunges. Get the back knee down as close to the floor as you can within your safe range of movement. We've got five seconds. This is set number three or four. We're nearly done. We're nearly done. And squat and jump. Come on, cross their feet. Cross their feet. Cross their feet. Ah! It's getting difficult now. It's getting difficult now. The ability to get high enough and to be able to fire those legs, to be, get them to be sharp is difficult. We know it's tough. We know it's tough. Just keep trying to work for us. Come on, keep trying to work for us. We're squat and jumping. We're squat kicking if we have to. Squat, reverse lunge. Last one. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I can't believe I just laughed. See what happened there, what Annie done is she got tired to the point where she couldn't do the ballets. Even the squat jumps were tough, so to make sure she didn't stop, she just went into a squat and kick, and that's fine. She still made sure that her body was working through the full 20 seconds, okay? It just shows how tough it is, it's hard work, but you always try not to stop, you always want to work. This is the toughest set, it's a good thing it's the last, that's what I say. <laughs> Five more seconds and we've got that last one. But don't stop. If you have to regress, that's fine. <sighs> don't stop. Squat and ballet. Let's go for as long as we can. Ballets for as long as you can keep good technique and you're able to get explosive in those quads. You can revert down to squat jumps if you have to. Squat and kick if you've got absolutely nothing left in those quads. We've got another five seconds. Come on! Can you finish with jumps? Can you finish with jumps? As long as you can do them, you try to finish strong, finish strong, finish strong. Rest. Oh. Brilliant, mate. I'm done. Breathe it out. <laughs> it's a little mini hissy bit. <laughs> Rest I was out. willing that to be over with you. Oh. Well done. Really well done. Really well done. Breathe it out. Try and keep moving if you can. I need shoes if you've right collapsed. On, oh. your, on your feet. On your feet. Just take the legs off. You're going to cool down. Have a little stretch. Yeah. Aaron will have to speak. <laughs> it was good, that, time, that last one was tough. That last one was tough. You are amazing. Everybody, if you're even switching that on, doing it in your own homes, or the gym, wherever, brilliant. Letting us motivate you. Oh, maybe demotivate you in that one. Well done, everybody. Thank you so much, Aaron. Oh.